Now again, you don't need the NAT Cloud. I'm simply using the NAT Cloud to give me internet connectivity. You could build GNS3 topologies offline. So you can build a GNS3 network that's not connected to the internet and use this DNS server. It is, however, configured for DNS forwarding. So if it doesn't have a local entry for a host name, it can retrieve that information from the internet. So let's configure the routers and see if DNS works. So this is router one, IP address 192.168.122.201. That's the IP address that we've configured in the DNS server. No shut. IP domain lookup. IP name server will be 192.168.122. And that's our DNS server. So ifconfig shows us the IP address of the DNS server, 250. So can we ping the DNS server? Yes, we can. One thing I'll also do is add a default route to the router so that it can get to the internet. So I've configured router one, let's configure router two. Hostname R2, interface gigabit 00, zero no shut. IP address 192.168.122.202. Do ping 192.168.122.250. Can we ping the DNS server? Yes, we can. IP domain lookup. IP name server 192.168.122.250. And I'll also add a default route to the NAT cloud. Okay, so can we ping google.com? Yes, we can. Notice it resolved successfully. Can we ping cisco.com? Yes, we can. Notice the resolution was done by the server. Can we ping gns3.com? Yes, we can. Again, the resolution was done by the DNS server. Can we ping r1? It's saying no. Can we ping r1.lab? It's saying no. So let's restart our DNS server. Let's check that on the DNS server. So ping r1. That works. r1.lab. That also works. Service DNS mask, restart. Service has restarted. Ping r1.lab, that works. Ping r1, that also works. Try that again. Notice that now resolves. Router 2 is able to ping r1.lab. Ping r1, that works. So if you have a problem, with new domain names not being resolved, restart your DNS mask service. Back on router one, can we ping R2? Yes, we can. Can we ping R2.lab? Yes, we can. Can we telnet to R2? Saying connection refused. So line VTY zero to four, login, Transport input all, enable password Cisco, line VTY04, password Cisco. So let's see if we can telnet to R2. Yes, we can. Can we telnet to R2.lab? Should be lab. Yes, we can. So I'm happy with that. Router 1 can ping router 2 using the fully qualified domain name, or simply the name. R2 can ping R1 using the short name or fully qualified domain name. The routers can ping the internet 
So we're having resolution of the domain name via their local DNS server. It's actually forwarding those queries to the NAT cloud, which forwards it on to the internet to get the resolution done. So any domain on the internet should be resolved via this GNS3 lab. So pingdavidbomble.com, that also resolves. pingdavidbomble.com, that also resolves. Again, show run, pipe include name. The DNS server used here is the Docker container in the GNS3 topology. Show run, pipe include name. There is the domain name. I'll save the router configurations and I'll turn off the GNS3 network and I'll create another blank project just to make a point. So test blank. And then what I'll do is go back and open up that Docker container, DNS network and start it up again. What I wanna prove is that the domain names are not lost. So notice when I ping R1, it resolves. The pings don't work yet because the routers are still booting up. So as you can see here, the routers are still booting up, but the domain names haven't been lost. Notice there I can now ping router two, and I can ping router one. So cat Etsy hosts, my host information is still preserved even though I shut down this GNS3 topology. So there you go. It's now very easy to add DNS servers to your GNS3 topologies. You once again don't need to be connected to the internet. You can run an entire GNS3 network with multiple DNS servers using this GNS3 Docker container. The DNS server software used by the GNS3 DNS server is DNS Mask. It's a very lightweight DNS server for small networks. So it works really well for our GNS3 topologies. Please join me in thanking Andrush for his hard work creating this GNS3 appliance. It really makes our lives as network engineers so much easier. Thank you, Andrush. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.